Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing the brand new cloth and paper contoured leather vanity case. So inside of here you get a thank you card with a copy of your receipt. And then I also ordered the organizer to go inside but we will focus on the vanity case first. So here is the vanity case. So I really love the epi, the epi leather. I really love the contoured leather because it is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton epi leather. And I just love the entire look. Every vanity case comes with a branded dust bag. I'm just gonna keep this stored on the side. I'm actually gonna keep this on my bookshelf for a display and we'll be using this as a camera bag. So there are so many different ways that you can use it. Ashley, the CEO of Cloth and Paper has been sharing a lot of different ways on Instagram. So you can use this as a purse, you can use this for makeup, you can use this to store planner accessories. And um, I really like the idea of using this as a camera case because my Louis Vuitton pochette has not been working <laughs> since I've been wanting to use the pochette as a clutch and I thought this was perfect. So inside, opening it up, we just have a few things in here. So this case also comes with a strap, but as for dimensions, so the exterior is 8.25 inches wide, it is 6.25 inches high, and then we have the adjustable and removable 50 inch long shoulder strap with gold clips that match the hardware perfectly and it matches the design perfectly. I just think this is such a nice touch if you want to use this as a bag. It's just a nice material and it's sturdy. It has the Safiano leather on the other side and uh, I just, I can't get over the details, but and we have that and then this one has gold zippers and it has leather fobs and it has little contoured fobs and so even the leather fobs are contoured as well to just have that extra detail and look um you have the rounded corners the top handle and then inside you have eight and i'm sorry if y'all can't see this i'll try and get it in the lighting um and adjust as much as I can. But you have eight credit card slots, four on the left and four on the right. You have a back interior zip pocket that is 4.75 inches wide. You have a top interior zip pocket that is 7.75 inches wide. And then you have a slip pocket that is 8.25 inches wide. So you have double the storage up here. You have storage in here and on the side to keep everything in. And so I will show you all what different planner accessories looks like in here so y'all can get an idea of that. And again, I did get the felt organizer, so let me open this up for y'all. I'm also gonna switch from my camera that I'm currently using to record to my phone, just so y'all can see what the camera looks like in here, and then how I will keep it on my bookshelf. So here is the felt organizer. This is an additional $10. The contoured leather agenda for pricing, because I forgot to mention that, is $139.90. And then there are the smooth caviar leather. I don't know if y'all can see that, but vanity cases and those are 110.90. So this one is a little bit more, but again, I just love that design. So you can easily slide these in. So I'm gonna put these in the back just because I wanna use the slots probably. I don't know. Um, you can move them around. I feel like you can fit two in here. I didn't get two because I wanna keep my camera here. Um, these are actually a really nice felt slip too. Um, so they fit in here perfectly. And then for planner accessories, um, I have the Uniball Signo um, that we're just gonna toss in here. I have some circle page flags, cloth and paper sticky notes. 
Can't forget the page flags. I'm going to grab an ollie clip and I'm just gonna put this one up here. Um, you could also just keep just different cards that come in like the sub box in here if you wanna store them. Like I have the authenticity card, that fits perfectly in there. Um, but yeah, so here's just a variety and then you have plenty of room. So now how these are standing up and because it has like that additional height over here, it will close with the pens in there. Um, just got a few different markers as well and it fits perfectly. So you can store a lot of planner goodies if you want to take them on the go. But again, I will be using this as a camera bag. So I'm gonna be keeping my lens in here and accessories up top. So let me take out all of this stuff and show y'all how I will be using it. Okay y'all, so I grabbed all the different accessories I could think of for my camera and then I took it apart. So um, this is normally all of the items that I need to store. So in here, um, I'm trying to see if I can keep, get this to stay open. Okay, so in here again, I have the felt organizers. I already, I have the adapter in this top compartment. And so I'm going to put my camera in here. And then I have these additional compartments. So I'm going to put my lens in this middle one and it's a perfect fit. Um, I have my battery charger, so if I ever want to take it with me, normally it just stays on the wall, but for the purpose of this video, uh, if I ever want to travel with it, I can just throw it in one of these. And then I have this strap. And so I use this um, Aaron Condren tote strap as a um, like camera holder. And if I want to take it with me, I can just keep it in there and sort it in there. And now I can use this as a camera strap. So I can use it to carry around the bag, then place the bag down and then switch it. And then I can use this as a camera strap. I really need to find like the full version of these. Um, and then that way it's a two for one. So once I'm done, so when I get somewhere and I can take the photo, I can just take it off the bag and then use this as the strap. And that's actually really cute. And I really love that idea. So I might just start using this instead. And I can just keep this as a backup too and just have it stored in there because that's the whole reason why I bought it. Um, I do love this look a lot better. So we're probably gonna do that. Um, but for like batteries and stuff, so I have a backup and I have the main one. I just took it out in here but I can store them like with the batteries here or I can just put them in on the side over here if I just want them stored differently. So I might just, I'll throw this battery in here for right now as well as this one. So I'm just gonna store the batteries in here. It's normally just the backup, but just to show y'all what fits in here. Sorry, I can't keep this lid to stay open. For the SD card, again, that's something else that I normally just keep in the camera, but I can throw it in here as well. Or if I want an extra SD card, I can keep that in there. And then, um, but just to show y'all how that will look. And I can add more cushion if I want. Um, I don't travel a lot with my camera. I just really want a place to store it. And if I do travel, it won't be far or it won't be like a hectic journey. So I'm not concerned about having it like stay in one place. I'm okay if it shifts around. And actually with them two at the bottom, it doesn't look like it'll shift around too much. Yeah, so I'm fine with it just staying in there and not having everything, anything over there. If I notice any problems, then I'll probably store something over there. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I closed the vanity case up. Sorry, I didn't want to do it with one hand. And um, kind of heavy, so I will definitely use the strap but the strap just hooks on. So you have this on the side. So you just hook it on both sides. And then you have the most adorable camera bag or vanity case or purse. And so 
that's how that looks and then let me show y'all where i'm going to start. so i'm still figuring out how i want to organize my bookshelves but this is where i plan on keeping the case and then i can easily come in and grab my camera if ever if i need it and it looks really nice on display i have it next to the contoured itchy mini cover as well and i love how those two just look side by side but then that that is the cloth and paper contoured leather vanity case and that is going to be it for this video if y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.